many roads must a man walk down? You know, once people turn on, tune in, and drop out, what should they do next? Go and find the others. And what the internet has really done is enabled people who could not find each other previously to find each other. If you were isolated in a community and you couldn't find anybody like you anywhere else in the world, the internet finally gave you an opportunity to connect with others like you. Global Jewish community that brings together uh, Jews of all types. You don't have conflicts. Uh, it's close, but it's not too close. Uh, it allows collaboration. Uh, it allows people to get to know one another. The only place that you can put everybody together is the web. It really gives us a good opportunity to find each other and to find other people of common values and interests who may very well be working on the same thing and thousands of miles away. Together, you can take action to make an impact in the world, to make it a better place, to change the status quo, and to make life more bearable or better for others. Hello, I'm David Yehuda Stern, and this is Cartoon Kippa. British Jewish philanthropy and the European connection. Karting Gipar is a Jewish podcast that is basically engaging in debate and conversation relevant to the Jewish community. This isn't a show about celebrity affairs or the latest Jewish book, even though that might, that might well be interesting to other people. This is looking at issues that we struggle with, that everyone struggles with, but for a Jewish perspective. And we're just trying to amplify that conversation and make it larger. And by putting it on the web through podcasting, it's a big Shabbos table. I founded the first Jewish blog online called JewSchool.com. And Jew School um, was really a trailblazer uh, and kind of taught the Jewish community how to do blogging. We're part of a conversation that was happening there that shifted the nature of the conversation that was happening in the mainstream Jewish community. Especially really opened up the conversation about the way that we talk about Israel as a community. In Jewcology, you can create private and public communities on items of shared interest. Jewcology is a global portal for the Jewish environmental community to network and share resources with each other. And it's a, a collaboration of 19 people who are uh, gathered together to look to create a, a project that would be of service to the entire Jewish environmental community. There's a lot of content being created and a lot of really great resources. There are also all these Jewish in environmental individuals who maybe weren't associated with an organization creating content like a teacher in a school or a lay leader in a synagogue or something like that who might be creating really great content but not having a really easy way to share it with the community. The Echo, the Echo Campus platform is our educational platform for today. The 20 schools that are in our project are env collaborative environmental projects uh, in the United States of America, in Israel, and South Africa. It's a way to bring together schools that are distanced from one another, both by language, by time, by culture. Um, it's a way of making the world a smaller place for today's children. The first activity that they do on the site is by measuring their ecological footprint, their type of housing, uh, how they use food, how they use natural resources such as water and electricity, uh, transportation. After they've measured their own individual impact on the environment, they compare themselves with students throughout the platform. Okay, so an Israeli child will be able to see that his usage of water is much more liberal than the usage of water of a child in the United States of America that doesn't have at all a, a water shortage. The right question may be, uh, what's keeping them from using these things effectively and understanding how to use them in ways that are going to help their organizations? And I think a lot of that has to do with them being trapped in an older mentality about the way that these things should work, as opposed to the way that they actually do work. They want to have control, and social media is not about control, it's about giving your community more freedom to take initiative and you know, really democratizing your operations in a certain way and giving your constituents more power uh, to, to help determine the agenda of your organization. And so in uh, their fear of giving up control, they miss out on opportunity.